Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Abijos 3D. This is going to be our update on the one millimeter printing. I printed this using a one millimeter nozzle on a CR10. Probably the oldest printer that I have, the first printer I ever bought. Still one of the most reliable. Now I want you to look closely at this piece. You'll see it's in two different colors. The black side was printed with a 4.04 millimeter nozzle. Not 0.4, I'm sorry. Yeah, 0.4 millimeter nozzle. It was on a um, i3. So it's a Prusa Mark III. And this side was printed on the CR10 using the one millimeter nozzle. So if you took a look at the layer lines here, the definition, the detail, uh, they're pretty close to each other as you can see. There's not an appreciable difference, zoom in a little bit, between a one millimeter nozzle and a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Now both of these were printed this way, up and down. So we'll take a look at it that way. And as you can see, they're, they're pretty close to each other. And a one millimeter nozzle will give you great resolution because although it's one millimeter wide, it's still 0.2 millimeters tall. And so it's going to give you the same resolution. And yet, this was printed in vase mode and it's actually a little bit thicker than this. So it's going to be sturdier than this is. And because it was done in vase mode, this side took about 40 hours to print, just half a shoulder piece. And this took only about five hours to print. Big difference when you're talking about um, the speed. Now they use the same amount of plastic because this is a one and a half times thicker than this. It's using one and a half times as much plastic for every layer, but it uh, prints a lot faster. So, what's the downfall in the one millimeter nozzle? Because it looks like it's a no-brainer, right? You get the same resolution, you get the same amount of detail, and you do it in a third the time that you would with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. The downside is the tops. Like I say, these were printed straight up and down. And if you want to take a look at the top, the top's a mess, okay? You can see all the layers and the gaps in between them because they are one millimeter wide and there's nothing to fill them in as opposed to this side, which is fantastic. It's just a, a little bit of sanding on this side and it should be done. This side, I'm going to have to do a bunch of filling and then sanding and then filling and sanding again. So on the flip side, post-processing, there's a lot more on this one than on that one, but still, and only five hours for this side, I would take the extra processing. As far as putting the pieces together, I did use a uh, goop to put it together. And then on any gaps that were in the model, because this model wasn't optimized, so there were a couple gaps and a couple holes here and there. And I used a 3D pen, all right? Just a little filament pen. Uh, the reason I use a filament pen is because it does allow me to get into the cracks and crevices I need to and actually push against it as I go and really get the penetration I need so when it hardens, it's all one piece. So this is definitely something I recommend. You just take this, you run filament, regular filament in the back of it. You can control the speed. It can do PLA and ABS. And then when I'm done, I'll just take 100 grit sandpaper. I'll go across this. You won't even be able to see the seams. So, today we looked at part two of our one millimeter special for our war machine that we're making. Punisher version of the war machine. And we saw that the layer lines on the sides are almost identical, but when you get to the top layers, it falls apart with a one millimeter. So think about that. If you're making something very tall with a very small top, it really pays to use a one millimeter nozzle and not the 0.4. Also, we looked at uh, a 3D pen 
and how we can fill in the cracks and crevices much better than holding the filament and trying to fill it with a soldering iron because you're going to take two hands when with this you could almost if it was steady enough just print it this way and then take your spatula and smooth it over as you go along All right if you guys have any questions just put in the comments below as always subscribe if you can I do appreciate you watching our show on our update for the one millimeter nozzle and you have a great day